So none of us are going to get out of this thing alive. We're all going to die. If you're lucky enough that you're able to see that your life is going to come to an end, that there's, you have some sort of life-limiting illness, then you can utilise that time to take stock of the life that you've lived and to celebrate it and connect with the people that you have and to connect with yourself before you leave this earth. Palliative care focuses on the care of people who have a life-limiting or a life-threatening illness. So that means that we're looking after not only people's physical symptoms, their pain, nausea or other symptoms that might come up, but also their emotional experience and their spiritual experience as they experience the end of their life. Through the arts, it is one way of, of creating a, an environment that is a, is a healing environment. I think listening is a rare commodity in our world. I felt like people weren't given enough moments in life to have complete attention. And I thought, what if someone could just be held in a space for a certain amount of time and be seen and heard and if during that time they could record their story and come to know more of who they are and why they are who they are. And then if we could create something tangible from that moment so they knew what it was like to be seen and heard. So that's how ink pressings and pressing sessions occurred. They're a reflective, striking, intense image and real like human beings. The Groundswell Project has been around for about six years now and we develop creative ways for people to have conversations around end of life, to get back to this idea that, that death and dying are part of life and living. So we have a number of initiatives that enable people to do that and Reflected Legacy has been a really important part of that. So the Reflected Legacy project is the first uh, project that we've done in partnership with the Grand Swell Project with our with and the Liverpool Hospital Partnership. We are blessed because it is just has just been the most amazing experience. Robin will go and meet the patient when she's here on the ward and talk a bit more about the the process and about what's involved in a pressing session. The first thing that we do is that we take a handful of confetti each and we say the blessing. And then we throw the confetti and this grey, clinical, sterile hospital room turns into this beautiful, colourful, soft, safe space just for that person. She will sit with the patient and ask them a whole series of open-ended questions about their life, about who they are. So by the end of this session, this person has released all of these stories and they feel that they matter and that their life matters. And at that time in your life, to feel like your life matters is incredibly important. And it's transformative what happens because what the art and the artist can do is they cut through any distress, suffering, joy, I think straight to and, and allow people to connect with who they are as a person. And then I'll sit and listen to the sound recording that we took during the session and fill the artwork with colour. Once that's finished, I frame it, I take it back to the patient and it's presented to them in a beautiful ceremony celebrating their life and their stories and often their family is there as well and they get to keep that artwork forever. One of the things that Reflected Legacy does is it brings to life a different way of looking at autobiographical projects because of the way that the pressing session is brought to life by a visual artist rather than a therapist or an arts therapist. And I think that brings something very particular to this project, something very unique, heartfelt and, and skilled. What this project does, it reminds people that they still have so much to say and 
are so important. Um, it connects them to sort of their past, their present, and also their future. These sessions help families to connect. They help the individual patients. So when I think about the impact of, of Robin's work, there's clearly an impact on the ward. What this project does, it doesn't just enrich and transform the patient, it enriches and transforms the staff. Because if we are enriched coming to our workplace, we're going to pass that on. So the next stage of Reflective Legacy will really take the project to a whole other level. It's my vision that we see this program roll out in other hospitals around Australia. The only problem is there's only one of me. So the next step is to teach and train and educate other artists. To connect with more people in more wards, in more hospitals, who are able to do pressing sessions in their communities. It's imperative. This work is not optional. It needs to be done.